German inflation data released today has risen to the highest rate of 2013 so far, picking up to 1.9% in July. Alina Schuling of ABN AMRO joins me now. Alina, looking at the data breakdown and it is fast growing food prices, today marking a five year high, which has driven this figure. How is today's news likely to sit with consumers, particularly as Angela Merkel seeks to defend her poll lead? Well, the rise in food prices indeed is an important factor behind the, the rise in inflation and um, this is largely due to um, adverse weather conditions earlier this year which has uh, resulted in some bad harvests. But people will probably be aware of the fact that this is a temporary phenomenon and uh, we can already see this in uh, global uh, food price commodity indices which have uh, come down significantly uh, recently. So this rise in food prices is probably temporary and we expect uh, overall inflation to move uh, lower in the coming months. We also have the promising news that the ZEW German Economic Sentiment Indicator a gauge of investor confidence has today jumped 5.7 points in August to stand at 42 points, the highest level since March. Is this indicative of positive economic expectation? And similarly, does this highlight market support for Germany's stance within the Eurozone region? Uh, yeah, we think this is uh, definitely a, a sign of uh, improved uh, economic conditions in uh, in Germany, particularly, but also in uh, in other eurozone uh, countries and and also in the U.S. Uh, importantly, also what we see within the eurozone is that um, uh, the countries in the periphery, uh, a number of them, uh, have already published uh, preliminary GDP data for the second quarter, and it shows that some of them have sort of moved out of recession or are close to moving out of recession and how the pace of contraction is, is waning. So this is uh, good news uh, for, for the Eurozone as a whole and uh, because of that uh, also for Germany since uh, the, the big chunk of German exports uh, stay within Europe. So um, uh, yeah, we, we think this is definitely a sign of um, uh, the global economy gaining some momentum and, uh, and, and the German economy benefiting from that. German government bonds had declined in the lead up to today's economic confidence data. What market response can we expect now, do you think? Yeah, we, we actually saw yields rising a bit after the ZEW data and um, that, um, yeah, they, they were a bit uh, bit stronger than uh, than expected. The outcome of the survey, we, we also had uh, industrial production data for the Eurozone as a whole, which were also strong. And uh, yeah, what we see is that uh, bond yields moved moved a bit higher and, and probably um, yeah, because of the yeah more more positive uh, outlook um, for the for the eurozone economy. Although I have to say that um, looking forward, we expect yields to remain um, at low levels uh, because they are uh, anchored by very low short-term rates. Uh, well, of course, uh, central banks have communicated very clearly that they um, want to keep uh, um, interest rates uh, very, very low for the foreseeable future, uh, including the ECB. They have also introduced the forward guidance for, for monetary policy. It's going to remain uh, very accommodative. So this will um, keep the short uh, short interest rates uh, at low levels and therefore will also uh, result in, in not a too sharp rise in, in bond yields. We expect them to remain quite low. Looking ahead then to the next calendar item and we have the release of German GDP data tomorrow. The economy ministry is predicting growth of around 0.75%. Alina, would you agree? Well, actually, um, uh, I was a touch more uh, optimistic. I uh, have a forecast 0 0.9. That was before the, um, the communication of the economy ministry. So, um, yeah, well, in, in, in I, I agree that uh, the, the German economy did uh, quite well in, uh, in the second quarter. Of course, the first quarter was a bit um, weaker than we expected at that time. Uh, that was also due to some one-off negative weather uh, influences, and uh, there will be some positive payback for that in the second quarter that will um, particularly show up in uh, in construction and residential
financial investment uh, which will bounce back but uh, besides uh, it seems that private consumption uh, was also uh, rather strong in the in the second quarter so um, yeah I'm also um, looking forward to quite a, a robust number. Alina thank you very much for your comments. That's all for right now but if you want to see some of the exciting things taking place here at Dukas Gopi TV HQ then hop over to our Facebook page for more exclusive interviews and info on some of our exciting contests. Goodbye for now.